today I'm gonna do a talk through video for the first time. Uh, I'm gonna walk you through some vintage clothing I've been getting lately. Since so many of you like love vintage as me. Uh, so yeah, let's just like get started. Uh, for the first, <laughs> so the first thing, well, there's a lot of stuff in here. Uh, the first thing, they, well, the typical, just a pair of like vintage overalls. Uh, like everybody loves vintage overalls, but it's hard to find the perfect pair. Usually they are very wide or very like, I don't know, like big. But I found the perfect pair like two weeks ago and I'm so excited to wear this. this actually I just cut them, if you can see the hems. Cut them, wash them and they turn like this. So yeah, these are great because they are kind of like tight on the waist and not like the usual overalls I get that are like very baggy. Like they kind of look like a diaper. No, you don't want that. So I got this. Uh, these are from No Boundaries. This was like probably maybe like ten dollars. And I would actually. There's so many ways for this. Like I love wearing overalls with like striped tees or maybe like vintage t-shirts like the one I'm wearing right now. And then I also like wearing them with like crop tops where you can see a little bit of like skin. So the second piece I'm going to talk about is this lace sort of like slip. I know, it looks kind of weird because it has this kind of like roses in it and the fit is like strange but I actually got it because I planned to cut it. I was gonna cut it to make it like a lace like slip top but now that I, like, I tried it on, I actually didn't try it on on the thrift store. I like saw it, I was like it's so cute, I'm just gonna cut it and when I got home I tried it on and actually it looks so good like as a dress. I don't know about the roses, you can, you're gonna tell later. But I plan to like work with like black t-shirt underneath to make you know like the latest trend that is like everyone is wearing which is white t-shirt and like a black slit on top. I'm gonna try the same thing but I want to do it like the opposite way so I'm gonna do the lace slip on top of the like any like dark t-shirt or just like a lace dress with like a pair of like thigh high boots and like a white slip on underneath so you cannot see it through right. So the third piece I'm going to talk about is this oversized uh, leopard shirt. I haven't gotten leopard stuff in a while and I don't know why but I saw this one and I think the print was quite cute. It's not like the typical print. It's more of like, it's kind of like, ge like geometric. It's not like leopard. It, it has these pancakes that I'm going to take them off, of course. I always take this off. Uh, yeah, if you find a piece that has a pancake, just think, take them off. This shirt is very oversized. I actually got it thinking of wearing like a cardigan with a basic white t-shirt and a pair of like denim shorts or even tie it up on the waist and yeah, I think this adds up a lot. It's just like the perfect print to add to any outfit. So then I got this uh, Jinjim uh, checked baby doll which is really cute it has this cute collar and uh, some white buttons and yeah I got it because it's a baby doll that's basically the only reason I love baby dolls when they're like very soft and like heavy because they fall really nicely on the body and they're so easy to pair they always look great you can just wear them with like thigh high socks or a pair of tights in winter it's really cute but sometimes it's like too cute so yeah this is gonna look great with like a black micro jacket and now we're gonna talk about my favorite type of piece, which is vintage t-shirts. I actually prefer like dark faded gray t-shirts, like vintage. Whenever I buy like a vintage t-shirt, I'm always checking out the color of the, like the fabric. But this one was like Guns N' Roses, so I was like, okay, whatever. I don't care if it's too black. And I mean, I'm not a big fan of like black and red. It's like that contrast is great, but you have to like tone it down a little. I usually try to lighten the look up with like a pair of like light jeans or maybe just uh, like a white t-shirt on top and yeah and then this one is so good I might cut it because I think it's very uh, like a little bit too big for me I think this works great with like just like a pair of like basic rib shorts and you can also like pair it with like a pair of like thigh high socks and wear it as a dress and like a biker jacket on top it looks really cute then I got this flannel shirt, which is pretty much uh, a plain flannel, but I got this because I don't have light flannels. I just have like dark flannel 
So yeah, I got this one. It has like a cute pocket and it's from Justin Allen, like any random vintage brand. And lately I've been wearing flannels with just like very basic outfit, just like a black t-shirt and a, like pair of black shorts. And that's it. I think it works great when you wear it with like chokers and pair of like brown sunnies. Uh, so yeah, this is pretty soft and pretty comfortable. And the last piece I'm gonna show you is this tan top, like orangey rust top. Uh, it's it was, I mean it still has a tag. It was nine dollars. So yeah, this is how it how I got it. Not cropped, so I actually got it and I plan to cut it like immediately. And I haven't cut it yet, so I'm gonna show you guys how it's gonna look cropped. The reason I got it is because of the neckline. It has this like square neckline that's like super 90s, super like chill. And it looks so great with like a choker and like a lot of necklaces because you have space to wear necklaces. So when I found it, I was like, oh my god, I need to get it. So yeah, that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. First time I'm doing like a talk through video, so just be kind. So let me know like what you would like to see. Maybe just more makeup looks or just more outfits or walk through and if you want to see more videos like this one also let me know or maybe not like it's up to you um, and yeah that's pretty much it Bye.